got well, the moon card and then we have the king of pentacles as okay there's something that you don't know you're not sure about governing something something that's governing something your emotions telling telling something that's telling the word telling or something is telling well, the moon card is here right telling because the moon card the card is secrets or what is oblivious or it isn't oblivious what you're oblivious to or it's not you or it's both of you because it's earth sign it's masculine is this earth sign this king of pentacles is the masculine and this nine of cups is a water sign i feel like both of you are not aware of something or both of you are aware of something a secret that both of you are tied to that is what maybe um attaches you two together um here and then we have the ace of cups and you are strong on true love or new love or you are receiving new love you know something in this moon's light you're getting a love in this moon's light i feel like i would love to sit with that energy and tell you i'm not giving you eye contact i feel like i'd love to sit with that energy and tell you more of it but i don't want to dive too deeply into the moon and the ace of cups but it's so beautiful like hold hold up hold up let me try it's like a song you know that song turn your lights down low by bob marley and lauren hill he speaks of the pale moonlight and there's also another song pale moonlight i can remember the first time i'm not in the singing mood but it's a beautiful song it's like i love the moon's light natural um it's like being in one of that vibration of feeling love or just in a beautiful energy at night and then love coming towards you. It's more than seeing a shooting star. It's like feeling a cool breeze past you that you know is something filled with love while beneath the moon's light. It's like meeting a stranger while you're walking alone on the beach in the moon's light, according to that song. It's like that, like that coolness of that wind. That's the kind of look, because this person feels cold. That's you. you know. But you, you see, like, you feel cold, and there's this rush, cool wind that's coming past you in this moon's light. It's something about, like, maybe something's going to be revealed. I don't know for certain. The, the tower. Dum, dum, dum. the ten of wands uh, okay the tower is a situation what you can do here something needs to end and I hear evolute transform massive vinegar or vengeance detox or cleansing or bath in vinegar to remove or strip or cleanse or clear so you can feel the moonlight's air. <sighs> Strength, power, will, courage, determination to transform. Yeah, you are attached to this person from your past. And they think that they still got your heart. <laughs> child Hi. they think that they still have your heart now i do not know you see yeah it's like this person feels like they are entitled to indulge in your energy remember what i was saying in the beginning some motherfucker like vibrating over your energy through screen watching your pictures and did i do that no and um <clears throat> you know it needs to some it needs to stop all of it all of it needs to end there's a secret between the two of you he knows it if, it feels like he's a bit scared of the truth to face it 
he's hiding behind his confidence, his laughter, his outgoing spirit, this masculine. You know what I mean? That is what he's doing. He goes out there and he's like, ha ha, you know what I mean? I, yeah, brethren. Not even I can get into that to, to breaking his spirit. But I do know that there is something else. But he, I don't think he wants to even let to let me to 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 admit it to me even even though he knows I know he know and all I know all that I knows, but he still won't break to let me in. That's how he's holding out with this secret, and it's in your belly because you know too is that visceral feeling. You know I don't have to tell you, and it is all that you need to probably move the f away from. You know what I mean. The tower card. What? Guessing. Fumigates. Like you have pests. They they are living in your crevices. You know what those crevices are? What is that word? Craters that were created in you. I don't know who created them. Possibly your mother. I don't know. The feminine side. Your femininity had craters they had little holes they made you vulnerable or susceptible to be filled with his charm his flashiness perhaps are you hearing me well um so the message of here today is something needs to end and i'm still getting the energy of vinegar strongly i'm looking at the word the tower card and i'm seeing you know the vi here and then I'm seeing the ER down here, but it's looking like vinegar to in the moon's light or water. In the moon's light, the shadows. He won't even, there's something about he's going to remain ha as he is this masculine. But you'll be gone with the wind. It's like you're taking yourself apart from this city. Listen, death, death, that's why the death card is here. <laughs> Sorry to frighten you. You were, it's, you went out in the night, something like that. He was, oh, it's like, and then you had on this, like, um, the snake skin, and you were, it, but it peeled off of you like it was milk on your skin or something. And you stripped that off of you. It's like you stepped out of that thin layer of clothing, that bondage that made you couldn't you couldn't feel because did I say you couldn't feel there was something that restricted you even though it was so thin. It's as if maybe his manipulation or his energy of dominance it was so intangible or it was so thin you could barely see it whatever whatever you needed to strip off of yourself I'm, I'm probably being too dramatic I'm taking up a lot of time but basically I'm too dramatic I should go in art and theater but basically what I'm saying can say listening to myself oh my god all I'm saying is the tower moment you need to end or to strip and I'm just <laughs> oh my god I'm not hearing the word vinegar and you need to like be in the moon's light. And it's like, I just feel like I was dreaming just now. And it's like seeing you out in the moon's light, stripping, like stepping out of her clothes and just leaving the house. It's like the energy of a wife that, that decides to pack her bag and stealthily leave out of the house of her abusive husband. You know, and he was unaware that she's leaving. But it's like you're you're really unwedding or untying yourself from this connection. The death card, the tower, all of this. You know, you're moving away. You're ending it in your energy as well. You know, because like I say, I feel like this person, they still feel like they have some kind of hope. Like they feel like you won't ever not be there in the space. You know? Um, but you literally, you were transforming. That's why I'm saying it feels like transformative energy with the Ace of Cups. You found like a beautiful sense of self-love. And um, so you stepped away from that situation. 
and um i don't i feel like it's gonna take a while for this person to realize that you actually left the fudge and so really you are building over here aggressive that's what i'm hearing maybe i'm coming off as aggressive maybe sometimes you come off as aggressive in your approach to as you chase your dreams you're building something new you have a lot of new ideas a lot of energy passions desires you know um you're working <clears throat> it's not just aggression it's not negative it's progression as well oh child the devil the devil i knew I just knew that I felt his energy because I was like the king of pentacles was feeling like that like this person's energy but this, this energy could be what it could also not be his you know it could be I don't know we'll see the three of hearts the three of swords and the outcome card is the eight of swords and the death card <sighs> you see yeah oh, oh it's like trampling the beast because this because this this is when I stand up you know, like, this is when you stand up. No. And I feel like you need to be taking some action. Stand up. Deceased or diseased. Death. You know, this energy is intimidating me at this point. Um, honestly. That's how I feel. But I'm smarter than that. <laughs> you know. It's like it's trying to shadow me or threaten me or something. But I am, I feel untouchable. I'm protected. I feel. I feel secure. I feel like the death is walking this energy past me. And you know the energy of um it's like taking someone to jail really and then you are standing here watching them going or facing death or whatever, their karma. And they try to make one last scare at you before they are taken the fuck out. Because the death energy is telling me this is the overall energy of this reading. What is being terminated? I had to face this devil energy. Today is trial. It's trial day. You have to stand up. You know what I mean? You are secure. You may look like you are afraid. But you are powerful. The eight of swords. You may think you are. Oh I am stuck. <clears throat> but you are not You're not, you know, you're, sm you're so smart. <laughs> Look at you. The energy of quiet but deadly or silent but deadly. Like, don't fuck with her. I just want to tell you that. <laughs> I'm telling you the truth. Like, you're going to be left hurt. You know what I mean? Don't fuck with her. Because it's like, you know, some people try to prey on you because they think you're weak. You know, and I, you know how to stand up for yourself. You've been through a lot. You've caused towers. You're the person they feel you, you've been through a lot. You know, you've been through homelessness. You've had to maybe sit. Listen, you've been through a lot. You've had to do a lot of things and put a lot on the line with the tower energy to move forward. So this is it. The death is it. Death is cancer and vibration. That's the transition and what is ending. The intimidation. And a lot of your mental space 
clear enough as well. There's a lot of clearing up being done. Because a lot was hidden from you. Emotion, emotionally. You know, like a lot of like manipulation. Your intuition. Things you didn't know. You know, it's... Can I blame anyone? No? Can you? Should you? You know... But the most powerful card is this one. You're like the one that you don't speak, but you will fight. And when you do, it's deadly. Like, you see how powerful you are? That's how I feel about this eight. I mean, I've never felt this way about this card. But I feel like you're the one that's so humble. Like, you don't talk a lot, quiet. You know, in the movies, you'd be the one that's mute, but, you know, you don't play. That was a love reading. Yeah, that's a love reading. And this is wonderful news because at the end of the day, this is telling us that love is on your side. Something new and fresh and beautiful is coming in your way. There's something ending, coming to your way. There's something ending or crashing. Look, Wheel of Fortune. Here, you're going to be celebrating um, but today, or like, I feel like this is this ending of cycles of heartbreak and manipulation and psychopaths entering in your life. I feel like you're protected by the divine, also by what? The law. Mm -hmm. And your own divine intuition. Your angels are here as well. And, you know, as people are being taken out and taken down, they're going to want to scare you. But you're not scary. You're firm. The Eight of Swords energy is like you're standing firm. One who stands firm. Best believe that. Um, you're not easily shaken. So person go and you're like, Chuh, I see that coming. Bro, like I told you I'm always ahead of you. I'm like one step ahead of anything that you're going any flinching. And you you won't I know you're only going to flinch. You know. I understand. It's almost like if not peace. You know what I mean? It's like, it's like I already know what you're going to do. You know? you And you breathe. You have a lot of control in breath too. Because cause I'm getting the energy of someone who, who trained with Mr. Miyagi or whatever. Tai Chi breath work. You're very controlled. What's that? It's like um, what, what would you have trained in martial arts? It's not karate. Or it would be kung fu. Because I feel like kung fu is control. Karate is flexibility. Tai Chi is breathing. And then you have Wing Chun, which is the art of non resistance. And I feel like you've mastered non resistance. You've mastered Tai Chi breathing. Uh, not mastered, but you, you've, you're, you know, you're aware. You're flexible too in mind, so you know you can dodge not everything that's gonna affect you these days. Like that monster wanted to intimidate you. You can be flexible in mind, you know. And um, control with kung fu. That's how I, this is how this is how I'm saying it. And control with kung fu is steadiness and groundedness. It's like ah, it's like you know. Like, I feel like Kung Fu is like cultivating an energy and keep storing it in one place. Like controlling it. <sighs> you know, Kung Fu. Mm -hmm. So yeah, much love to you. Thank you so much for being here. I hope you found inspiration in this video. If you did like it, share it with those you love and subscribe to the video. Come back again. Be a part of this family. Know when I upload new videos for you. Hit the notification bell. And I will see you in the next upload. All of your support is abundantly appreciated. Remember that you're all and all is within you. So much love until next time. Eat well and walk good.